I first moved back to Awaka with my family, the big public discussion was where the new public toilets were going to be built. And apparently this discussion had been going on for quite some time. Uh, mixed messages were being sent to council and not a lot of progress had actually been made. We have asked for a series of public workshops facilitated by a lady called Jill Borland, a Waka Tauri board was formed and from this is how we have reserve management plan process. And we as a community had direction for this made much better communication between us as the town and with the council. <laughs> the toilets were the catalyst for many projects, including the town landscaping, our Waka and our 150th celebration. Ironically, they are the last to be completed. So for me and the Awaka going forward group and many in the community, <coughs> these toilets actually ironically symbolise progress. <laughs> I'm very proud of what our community has achieved in six years and continue to achieve, so watch this space. So first of all I want to say a big thank you to Lucia from the CDC, um, who's been sort of involved in it from the start, and also to Jill Borland, who's now moved on to Christchurch, and Kim Dodds, who also was a very early adopter of getting things moving in the area. Um, Bell Club for their patience and also for, to Tony who's not here today who's a very clever man that did the tiling inside um, and to Brian and Steve for coming down today to the CDC thank you very much and especially Glenda and all you amazing pupils from our school who have put a lot of work into these toilets and made them something extra special and we really really appreciate the time and the thought you've put into all your artwork it's fantastic <coughs> and also I'd like to thank all those in the community who have come before us because without them Having done what they've done in the past, it means that we now have something a benchmark for the future. So thank you very much, and thanks for coming out today. <laughs> now I just represent the school and the students of this morning, this afternoon, and I'd like very much to thank the Super District Council for making it possible for us to have input into the interior of the toilets. Uh, most toilets you see just had plain old white, white tiles, they're very boring. So it was great to get them there and put and being able to do, to, to do that. Um, the, the students have had a great chance to display their artistic talents. They've done a lot of research into what they would put on their tiles. And um, a lot of them have used their own heritage in the cat lips to display on their tiles. But you see a lot of pioneer farming. You'll see the early railway, you'll see some of the early historic buildings from around the Catlin, which they researched about from some of the old Catlin books and photos. You'll see also a lot of our wonderful wildlife here, which attracts our tourists. And um, you'll see a lot of real icons of the Catlins, the nuggets, um, our penguins, our sea lions, you'll see lots of waterfalls. There's a, really a terrific array of tiles. And the students from age 5 to 17 and 18 have done the tiles and it's a real credit to them and I'm sure our tourist visitors will be really wowed by what they see when they use our ablution block. Um, I'd especially like to thank Belcrom who were very very good at uh, letting me go in and work uh, within their uh, business in Balclutha and I worked with Sally's husband Tony Stanger who was marvellous at at having the uh, foresight to work out where the tiles should go and how they should be placed, where to make sure we didn't get two penguins together or two lighthouses together, had to look right and he was very very patient and was marvellous. Also Janice Brockett, I did invite her, I'm not sure that she's here. Um, she was, is she here? Oh she's coming. Yeah she is now. So um, I'd like to thank Janice very much. She's a lot She's a local ceramicist and she helped us with the glazers. She provided all the glazers for us, the expertise, and we really enjoyed working with her. She probably spent two or three weeks at the school with us, giving up a lot of her time. And thank you, Janice, very, very much. The kids love working with you. So thank you. Just arrived in time. <laughs> thank you to Captain Promotions, who set the whole um, thing up, really, several years ago, and we instigated that we needed new toilets and to the going forward who were able to take the, the um, project forward and we were able to use funds that they had raised to um, do the tiling. So it wasn't, it wasn't really cheap, but we managed to get it done within budget. 
Um, the process of making the tiles was um, preparing uh, a mock-up on the right size paper to match the tiles. <coughs> then the children drew their design on the paper. That was then traced with graphite paper onto the tiles themselves. And then with Janice's help, we were able to choose colours and things to make them look really great. There's a linking colour for each toilet. This toilet here has a linking colour of brown, which represents the earth, which links every tile to each other. And the small toilet is based on the Catlin's Coast, and it's linked with blue to represent the sea. And that just makes it all fit together really well. It's much easier than doing a big mural and getting every child to do a bit because it doesn't look so good when you put it all together with all the different abilities. So this way every child has a tile they can be proud of for years and years to come. I said to them when they're my age, they might still be there. They'll be able to bring their grandchildren to see them. So, so that's really exciting. So you can be really proud of yourself, students, and I'm really proud of you too. So thank you very much. Uh, tenakata, tenakata, tenakata katoa, namahi mahana ke katoa. Welcome everyone. Only in a waka could we have such a turnout for an opening of a toilet. <laughs> but I think that we all know that this building means something far more than just being a toilet. So firstly, if I could concentrate on the ceramics and, and the inside design. I've been fortunate enough to have a wee sneak preview. And well done students, that's something pretty special. Not only is it the ownership that you can take in, in your community and in a building with the names, that's something pretty special, just to walk in and see the colour scheme and how it all fits together. And can I say, Janice and the crew, if you could do some on the outside as well, that's, it's, it's a brilliant job. So firstly, thank you for the effort that's been made on, on behalf of the whole school. You've done a great job. And it's something special, and I touched on the ownership, and I think that's what I'd like to focus on most because today this building is symbolic of how a town has taken ownership and done things their own way. I know in, in my time, my six years as mayor, what started as a rumblings of where are the toilets going to go and we all know that story. But they've come here, but it's been the start of something so much more. To drive around the town today and to have your town looking so sharp, it's ship shape and Bristol fashioned in my books and that shows me that there's a good heart and there's a good community spirit here. And to the pupils, you can be proud of looking at the older people in your community and what they're doing to make this a better place for you to live. I'm not going to single out names because then I'll only miss some, but I think everyone that's here, everyone that's taken part, and I've loved the cohesion in the groups, how the going forward group was made up of really every organisation that already existed and you've worked together, you've held hands, and you've done it your way, and that's something that that's something pretty special. There's good leadership, there's a commitment. I love the working bees and the numbers that come down here. As I go around the district, you can see that every town's got its leaders and its doers, but this is a great time for a waka. There, is, there are people and the dynamics that are working, and for that, and if this is a sim symbolic building of that, then it's something pretty special. So on behalf of the Clutha District for a kickoff, to everyone that's got up and done something for their town and made a difference, we really, really appreciate it. You're doing a great job. All the best for the way forward. And um, to the pupils, it's a great day for a whacker too. You can remember that you're part of a, a lovely town and a lovely community. We're now going to cut the ribbon. I'm not going to do it because I've thought of a, I actually have been asking around everyone, how do you open a toilet? We'll have no poppy humour, of course. We've got to do this official and sensibly. So I think it's great that there's two pupils because it's such a part of the building. I'm just going to stand back and hand you the, to do it between the two. You're going to say we now officially open the toilet block.